Hi guys! Today on Divas Can Cook, we are making frozen Reese's pie. Great summertime dessert for all those cookouts you got coming up. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by making a fabulous Oreo pie crust. So we're gonna place our Oreos into a food processor. And then we're gonna process this until it resembles fine crumbs. You want it nice and crumbly. You don't want any big chunks in there. Now pour that into a bowl. We're gonna add in a little bit of, well, a lot of melted butter. I like to use, this is a lot more melted butter than I would normally use for my pie crust, but when I'm doing like a frozen type of pie, I like for my pie crust to have a different texture to it. I'm kinda anal about that. Okay, now I'm just gonna spray my little pie plate with some cooking spray. And then we're gonna place the crumb mixture into my pie plate and just press it until it's nice and uniformed. It's a lot easier to work with when it's like doughy as opposed to like crumbly. So yeah, I like it like that. So go ahead and press it into place and get it perfect and even. Then we're gonna freeze it for about 30 minutes just to kind of set the crust a little bit. And while that is setting, we're gonna make the filling for this pie. And don't forget you guys, you can find this recipe on my blog, divasomecook.com with a ton of other recipes, so go check it out. All right, into a bowl goes our softened cream cheese. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of sweetened condensed milk, the stuff that I love so much. Then we're gonna um, beat this until it's really fluffy and creamy like that. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I try to answer them, I answer a lot of them anyway. If you like this video, let me know by liking it, okay? Perfect, now we're gonna add in some powdered sugar to sweeten up a little bit more, cause I like sweet. And we're gonna add in some peanut butter. This pie is not hey. If you're on a diet, I am so sorry, honey, cause whoo. This pie is bringing it. So go ahead and mix it up until everything gets combined. And then we're gonna fold in some Cool Whip. Oh, I told y'all, I told you. Jeez, fold in some Cool Whip, okay? Just like that. And next we're going to add in some chopped up Reese's. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is optional, but I like to add it in there, you know? Okay, go ahead and fold that in there like that. And then we're gonna pour this mixture into our frozen pie crust. Okay, just dump it right on in. It's so good. I can stop eating it. And we're just gonna spread it out with our offset spatula. I love those offset spatulas. You should get one if you don't have one. Then we're gonna cover this up and freeze it for about two to three hours just to kind of set the top a little bit. Okay. All right, this pie is semi-set. So now it is ready for our chopped up toppings. The Reese's, yummy. Go ahead and open up some Reese's and chop them up into little bits. Now, if you don't like Reese's, you can use any kind of candy. This is really like a frozen candy bar pie. So use what you like if you're not feeling the Reese's, okay? But we like Reese's, so we always use Reese's. Okay, go ahead and cover the top up with Reese's. And because I am already fat, I'm gonna add on some um, melted chocolate. Oh my gosh, melted chocolate chips, y'all. It was so doggo. Good, it's just perfect. So go ahead and add that chocolate on there, let it set, and then you wanna cover this pie very tightly and freeze it overnight, okay? And please cover it tightly because I cannot stand a frozen pie that tastes like the freezer, ew. So we're gonna pretend this pie is frozen, go ahead and cut into it, it's obviously not frozen because I had to go out of town, okay? I couldn't um, wait overnight to record this video. So go ahead and plate it up. This pie never cuts neat for me, whether it's frozen or not. So if you make this pie and you get it to cut very neat, I wanna see a picture, cause I don't believe you, I wanna see it. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, bye.